Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet yet again for another tutorial. My name is Mary and in this tutorial we are making this gorgeous little washcloth and it's double sided where you have a nice plain soft side and on this side you have a little bubbled edge raised side. I mean simply gorgeous and today I'm going to be using the Bendigo Woolen Mills that's a little bit messy there sorry about that guys I just wound that and the winder is not doing too well at the moment for some reason it's starting to play up on me um, but this color here is called sky um, the lighting in here does not do it justice there it is look how gorgeous this color is so this is sky from Bendigo Woolen Mills you will need it's actually I'm sorry that's actually a 10 ply so it's a lot thicker the cotton than your average cotton and you will need a 4.5 millimeter hook you can also use a 5 for this particular tutorial you will need your sewing needle uh, you will need your scissors and you will need your measuring tape it's not necessary it's just entirely up to you how big you want your piece to be we are now going to start this particular piece also um, over the next few weeks we're going to be making little iPad makeup removers for our eyes we're going to make some more washcloths um, just to keep us, you know, entertained during our, you know, lockdowns, I suppose you can call it. Everybody all over the world is in lockdown practically. So we are going to keep ourselves busy with smaller projects. And these projects can be done, you know, within half an hour to an hour, depending on how fast you crochet. So I'm not going to talk anymore. We are just going to get started. Enjoy, guys. Alrighty, let's move everything out of the way and let's get started. Now, um, as I mentioned the promo, this is a sky blue cotton. Um, it's a 10 ply cotton from Bendigo Woolen Mills. If you are using um, a thinner cotton, this pattern, you may need to double the measurements, okay? <laughs> Sorry, but, but this is a fairly thick cotton, okay? If you're using a good size cotton, then I wouldn't worry about it. You could probably get away with using the eight ply as well. Um, that's a medium size cotton. Uh, but yeah, just, just check your tension anyway. And you've got, you've got your measuring tape, so check your measurements as we go along, and that'll help you out with sizing, all right? In the meantime, we're just going to get started, okay? All right, I'm going to be doing a quick, oh, I should, shouldn't be so fast for you. Sorry, guys. A quick slip knot. Now, a slip knot is just a yarn over your finger once and yarn over your finger twice. Your tail end dangling, you're working yarns under your finger there, okay? You're passing your back loop halfway over. Hold it there. Pass the other loop all the way over. Grab your hook, pop it through that little loop, and just give your loop a tug. Okay, nice little tug. All right, here we go. All right, so what you need to do is to chain up 30 at the stage. And if you're new to the channel, a chain is just a yarn over hook and pass it through the loop on your hook. Okay, and again, yarn over hook, two, yarn over hook, three, yarn over hook, four, yarn over hook, five. You can see how old this yarn is, can't you? <laughs> yarn over hook, six, yarn over hook, seven, and eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. All right. And you should have your 30 chains. Pretty cool, huh? All right. So at this point, let's blow that up a little so you can see. You're going to put your yarn over your hook. We are going to form a half double crochet. Now, yarn over your hook. You're going to half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. So not that first one right there, but just that second one right there. So what you do is you can pop it in any stitch you like. Okay, I just put it through and pass two loops on the top, one loop on the bottom there. It's up to you. It doesn't matter which loop you want it in because it just depends. It's like preference, really. Uh, yarn over hook, pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over hook, pull through all three loops on your hook. You're going to do that again in your very next stitch right there. Okay, yarn over hook, pull up a loop. 
yarn over hook pull through all three loops on your hook yarn over hook pop it in your chain yarn over hook pull up a loop yarn over hook pop through all three loops on your hook and this is pretty much what you're going to do until you get to the end of the row okay so go ahead and do all that and when you get to the end of this row I shall meet you up okay all right so here we are at the end of the row we actually have this one last stitch left it looks a bit weird but we are going to put a half double in there so it's yarn over your hook pop it through the space don't split the yarn like I just did and there you go okay so yarn over hook pull up a loop yarn over hook pull through all three loops on your hook so what you should have now is a long row of half doubles gorgeous 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 now what a lot of people do for washcloths is they just keep doing half doubles all the way up until they reach say 30 centimeters or so let's have a look at your inches here until they reach about I should say 25 centimeters or 10 inches that's what a lot of people do but we're not going to do that we're going to make a gorgeous little pattern okay so what you do is you chain one you turn your work okay now with this pattern it's an interesting pattern okay let me show you quickly if normally you are doing um, your single crochets across all you would do is pop your hook through the stitch and that's where you've got that little V looking that is a normal stitch and your hook goes through that stitch right there that's what we would normally do when we are doing single crochets half doubles doubles trebles depending on what country you come from okay but we're not going to do that now the first stitch we are we're going to put it in through the normal stitch just like a normal single crochet and a single crochet is just pop your hook in that stitch okay right there pull a loop through and you should have two loops on your hook yarn over hook pull through both loops on your hook but the rest of your stitches until you get to your last one are going to be in not the stitch but that little you've got your little post I'll show you, you've got your two post stitches there post 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 each stitch has its posts right in between your posts you have your, your V but you also have that third stitch right there you are going to put your hook in there and do a single crochet in that third stitch okay I'll show you again nice and close so you can see it there's your two posts that's your normal stitch now as you've done your first one it's lifting up that third stitch for you so it's actually helping you so you just pop your hook through that third stitch and you do a single crochet yep go to the next one there's your two posts that little stitch right in between single crochet easy I think it's easy okay then I've been doing this for a hundred years so <laughs> all right so just keep doing that and you know I find this stitch very very easy and quick so normally I'd say do it until you get to the end of the row but yours truly is halfway there <laughs> so I'm just going to keep going um, it's just the next row that can be a little bit trying but it's not difficult you can do it and newbies can do this okay newbies can do this probably not as fast as your average crocheter but newbies can do it it's not difficult just have to determine where that middle loop is it's kind of a loop it's not really a full stitch it's like a loop I call it a front side loop but it may not be called that <laughs> it could be called something else okay so there we go we are almost at the end of the row now we're not doing this all the way through mind you you could you could do this pattern all the way through um, but the next row um, doesn't allow you to find a third loop <laughs> <laughs> so the single crochets are a little bit smaller so finding a third loop would be you know extremely tricky I don't think you can because there's only you know the two loops on the hook anyway when you're doing a single crochet okay here we go here we go we're nearly there now when with the last stitch we're not done going to do the side of the loop I'll show you that quickly all right here we've got there's actually three there's one post two posts and then there's this right here that's a third stitch okay so in between those two posts we are going to do your normal single crochet in that side stitch it was a little bit tight for me there <laughs> all right then I've still got this bit left this is where 
you put your hook between both the loops up the top there and you're doing a normal single crochet okay we're not doing a side one on that okay, let me show you what you've done just in the front that's the back of your work okay and that is your front of your work ordinarily that would be the back it doesn't really matter in this particular design when you see the finished product you'll understand what I mean okay now you probably find this is a time to measure the width of your um, work now I found this size to be perfect for me for a washcloth so it's roughly around 23 centimeters or 9 inches you can make them as big as you like that may shrink a little bit okay so that's where mine is if you want yours bigger you have to take it undone and chain up a few more chains okay and start again but I think that's a perfect size okay now we're not finished yet because this is the part where we have to change the design again so before you turn you chain one turn your work let's get a nice little close-up now with your half double crochet row okay we did our half double crochet row the first row the single crochet the second now we're going back to the half double you're doing your yarn over your hook we're going to put it through the actual stitch first okay your first and last stitches will be put through the actual stitch okay and you know a half double because we did it in the first row okay but now this is where we are going to put our half double and remember that little stitch I told you about before right there with the two the V looking thing and we put it on the side of the stitch before in this last row with the half double rows you're going to put it you've got your front and your back loops you're going to put it in the front loop only okay so half double in your front loop one okay these are the two loops on top you put it through that loop right there so half double in that one loop okay two and do that all the way whoops without slipping of course across <laughs> all right now this um stitch will give you a pattern you probably won't see it until after the sixth row maybe and this is our third row okay it's our it's our second half double row but it's our third row throughout the um the piece okay okay so you're not watching me just keep going well all the way across get to your second last stitch and meet me there all right I'm here at the end of the row I do have my second last stitch to do and my last I just wanted to show you that it can get a little tricky these last two stitches to work out whether you have two stitches left or one you're looking at your V's there's a V there and there's a V there okay so you're putting your half double crochet in that front loop like you've been doing all the way along but in this stitch here you are putting the half double through the whole stitch so that means grabbing your whole V there your two your little two little <laughs> get it right me I'm so tongue tied this morning your two loops there okay pull a loop through yarn over hook pull through all three loops on your hook okay and what you should have on this side is that little line you see right there on the other side nothing okay kind of a faint line you'll see there okay now initially I did this pattern because I only just did this this morning as you do <laughs> I did this pattern in half doubles in the, the um, side loop all the way through until I got to the end but I found it was very very holy um, and I wanted a nice closed stitch for my washcloth so I tried it with the single crochets and I love the look it gives you after about the sixth row you start to see a nice little pattern okay but in the meantime that was your third row turn your work no I'm lying chain one <laughs> and then turn your work yarn over hook oh no not yarn over hook because we are doing our single crochet row now remember our single crochet row the first stitch we pop our hook through the little V you see there and you do your normal single crochet okay your second stitch and the rest until you get to your second last and actually it looks better here you can see that little loop right in the middle there all right that loop on the side right there okay this is your V loop all right that's the main stitch we don't want the main stitch we want just that one little loop there you're popping your hook in you're pulling up a loop 
two loops on your hook, yarn over hook, pull through two loops. And then you're doing it to the next stitch. Remember in between the two bars, the two posts right there, there's a little loop there. Okay, I hope that's making sense. Again, if it's not, you can pop it through the stitch and just make your own stitch. <laughs> there you go. But this is um, a pretty little pattern that I came up with this morning. Okay, so you'll just keep going all the way across. I love this row because it's very quick and easy. So go ahead, complete this row, get to the end, the second last stitch, and I'll meet you up. All right, here we are at the end of the row. I'll just do my single crochet in that second last stitch right there. And now we have this. It's a little bit hazy, <laughs> a little bit squishy, but you can see your V right there. What you need to do is grab your hook and get it through the V, okay? And then you just pull a loop through like that, a little bit tight, and then you do your normal single crochet. All right, chain one and get ready for your turn, but I want to talk to you about this now, all right? So what you are doing, and this is the easy bit, you're going to love this bit. That's our piece so far. Okay, that's the other side. Gorgeous. Look how it lifts up. I love, love, love. Almost looks like that's a knitted stitch in there somewhere. <laughs> um, but we're not talking about knitting. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So here we are. We have our piece. In a minute, I'm going to start the next row and then you can head off on your own and finish. In the meantime, I just want to show you quickly. Now, I've had a bit of a play with some stitches anyway. This is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It's going to be 30 rows. Okay, so that's actually just a 30 row step. And to show you what I mean, whenever you do a row, you just mark off once and you mark off another. Then you mark off another until you get to your fifth row. That's four rows. When you get to your fifth row, put a line right through it. It's grade two maths here, okay? <laughs> grade two, grade one, <laughs> prep even, okay? So you just mark off your rows as you go along. When you get to your fifth row, mark it off. By the time you get to whatever count you want to do, okay, by the time you get to your count, mark off your last row. And when you have done that, meet me back here and I'll show you what we're going to do next. But before we do any of that, I'm going to show you what you do with your next row, okay? So what you're doing is you're turning your work and you're going to be repeating your row of half doubles in your front loops and your row of single in your side front loop. So this is your half double row. You're going to put your normal half double in that first stitch, the whole stitch, okay? And what that does is it just reinforces the, side, the sides and it makes your work a lot stronger, okay? Then you are going to put your half double again in your front loop right there, just that front loop, okay? One, do that all the way across. Oh, I've just split the yarn, dear me. And then when you go and turn around later, you're doing your single crochets in your side loop right there. Okay, repeat those rows over and over again, 26 times. Using your little stitch marker or whatever stitch, whatever stitch count you like to use, to guide you through it then come back here and we'll talk about what we're going to do next okay go ahead and pick those rows and i'll meet you back all righty guys here we are at the end of our rows uh, this is the 30th row for me i'm not sure exactly what you got up to and it doesn't matter really it is entirely up to you give it a nice little stretch okay the measurement of mine works out to be around nine inches or 22 centimeters roughly there, you know what, if you want your size, your washcloth to be a larger size, keep going. If you didn't want it that big, take a few rows off. But this, I think, is a perfect size for me. And how gorgeous is this stitch? I mean, look at it. That's the bobbled side with your little raised edge. Then you've got a plain side. So if you don't like the bobbled side, in fact, you know that bobbled side is really good for when you are wiping things up or cleaning or whatever it is you want to use, your washcloth Four. pretty exciting now here's a little tip i hope you like this tip too it's not even a tip it's just something to help you out if you kept going and going and going and going 
you could turn your work on oh, the wrong side sorry if <laughs> you kept going 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 you could turn your work into a gorgeous solid scarf i know right pretty coolio how gorgeous is this stitch my little freebie to you from wow crochet as a gift for this horrible time that we are in because we need our washcloths now don't we guys so what we're going to do we are going to finish off our final row and i ended up with a row of single crochets i'm not sure where you ended up it doesn't really matter um, there's no right or wrong way of doing this so i did my final stitch there all we're going to do is pull a loop through and then we are going to do the obvious which is cutting give your yarn a tug and now you are going to weave in your ends okay we're going to start with this end here the last one we just did now um don't forget guys if you liked this particular washcloth stick around because over the next few weeks i'll be making some more washcloths and some little odds and ends um like eye makeup remover pads and all sorts of weird things you're going to love it guys it's a little something that will help us out while we're all in quarantine it's, um, you know tough times ahead and we're just going to make ourselves um, make ourselves busy doing all these gorgeous little odds and ends now all you need to do is find I'm not even telling you what to do guys am I I'm sorry just find your little spaces anywhere you like now I don't know which way you want to put your front to the back it doesn't really matter just find a space and pop your oh I can get this right <laughs> pop your needle in anywhere you want i like to split my yarn a lot of people say it's a no-no in crochet but yours truly does it don't tell anyone all right <laughs> it's not a no-no it's just that once you split you can't take this undone so you, once it's split it's going to be very very difficult to get it undone you literally have to cut into your yarn so really make sure everything is correct before you start going ahead and splitting your work i know right <laughs> <laughs> so keep going all the way through now it might help for you to go in somewhere where there's thread like this has been crocheted over now I'm at the back of the work what I consider the back I consider the front being the bubbled side the back being the flat side but you know it's entirely up to you you can use either sides it doesn't really matter and you just keep weaving in and out this is not a very very good needle at all it's going to be ending up in the round filing cabinet after this <laughs> after this tutorial and um, the round filing cabinet if um you worked in an office people would know that that's actually the rubbish bin <laughs> so there we go yes the pin or needle is going in the bin it's just terrible terrible i don't know what's wrong with it, it might be a little bit rusty all right so that's that end so we're going to give that end a bit of a cut like so careful not to cut your work give your little piece a bit of a tug and it'll all fall into place that will not come undone in the wash now go ahead and weave in your other end guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share and all that stuff that you guys do so well check out this gorgeous gorgeous pattern i love 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 and um, if anybody would like to share their patterns, they can actually pop over on my Facebook page and they can share their pictures on my Facebook page. Be prepared, guys. We are making more of these over the next few weeks. Thank you so much for watching. And all I can say right now, guys, is ciao for now.